recalling the wise sentiments of the first Tanzanian president and renowned teacher Julius Nyerere. Nandindaitwa says peace should remain the core value for the Sadek region to maintain its purpose. She, however, raised concern about the political and security situation in the kingdom of Eswatini, saying Namibia encourages that government to stabilize the situation before the upcoming elections. Delegates at the session, the deputy premier stressed, should utilize the platform to deliberate on regional integration, poverty eradication, women empowerment, youth development, as well as peace and security. Nadine Deitwa also called on entrepreneurs to strengthen investment in both countries through the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. Our entrepreneurs are the ones who should be the backbone of this economic diplomacy which is underlining our cooperation. Honorable Minister, in this context, it is vital that we prioritize the speed finalization of pending agreements in various fields that we have identified, as this will strengthen and deepen our cooperation and enable us to contribute to the SADAC programs as well as to the realization of the AU Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. On her part, Tanzania's Minister of Foreign Affairs and East African Cooperation, Stergomena Lawrence Tax, urged the two governments to enhance interactions at all levels to improve historical ties and relationships. Tax also reiterated the need for trade and investment flow by firstly removing non-tariff barriers that hinder businesses from thriving. May I call upon Namibians, investors and the business persons to take advantage of the improved business environment in areas of interest such as manufacturing, tourism, mining, energy, livestock and the fisheries and the blue economy. This is an added advantage to our economic relations, capitalizing on our membership, both Tanzania and Namibia, in SADAC and the African Union, that guarantees high returns on investment. Siaman Bikwa, NBC News, Ventuk.